Welcome back. Final lap of Robbing Minds and of course the entertainment segment where we always have some very interesting people in the house. And this man is nothing short of interesting, creative, a celebrity photographer, a man of many parts, many hats, but passionately at the core of his center is a creative individual. His name is Yomi Black, and great to have you in the studio, bro. <laughs> it's very funny seeing you in person now. Yeah. I mean, when, when I watch your skits, um, I don't even know you as a celebrity photographer. I know you more as the comic, the, the very creative stuff you come up with. And I think that's usually, um, that's your signature, if, if I can use it. The celebrity photography part, how, is that what you're known for, or, or more okay. of the comic? So how, how does it happen? Um, <laughs> obviously, just like everything in life, People evolve. Mm. So I started as a photographer, became very successful. They started calling me celebrity photogra photographer, which was good. I but. enjoyed it. But, you know, you always have to move forward in life. So I was more interested in filmmaking, mm. you know, videos, things that might just... A picture is great, but it's one picture. Mm. A video is a thousand pictures in a second or in a minute. So you have more room, basically. More so, room. Yeah. Hmm. More room is... Now, <laughs> if, if, if I'm going to put an x-ray on your mind, uh, and like, let's go into Yomi Black's mind. Uh, is it chaotic? Is it confused? Is it organized? I'm looking at your hair. I'm like, <laughs> did you run out of the house? You, you started it, but you didn't finish. Uh, so it's, um, it's organized chaos. Hmm. Um, people like me have a lot going on up here. And... In the beginning, it's all scattered. You don't really know what to do. But over the years, you learn how to, you know, filter and, yeah, and filter compartmentalize, it and then use what you need at the right time. Like mm. I might think of a great joke now, and it might not work for me till next year. I I'm, even, I'm even still struggling with you speaking good English. <laughs> <Abby. right? laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, to comprehend. Uh, but how how was the process? Because a lot of creative guys watching you now, and your evolution has has taken a process. How were you yeah. able to? You know, know, okay, this is what I want to do next. This is how I want to express myself. Because what you do from filmmaking to your skits, they're, they're very out of the box. Okay, so to be honest, um, when you're going to Ibadan, right, you start your car. You can't tell the road all the way to Ibadan. Mm. You can only tell the first few meters in front of you, right? Mm. So what I try to do is I make sure that what is ahead of me at every time I'm doing the best. I'm making sure that this one works very well, mm. right? And slowly, you, you start to feel the evolution. You start to see more happening. And before you know it, anybody. Hmm. And you've been in this how long now? Okay, media and entertainment, say 2011, 2012. 2012, okay. Now, I, I want to go into... Um, your your personal life because mm -hmm. um, elizabeth is is our missus yeah lizzie john my how, girl <laughs> how did that i mean i read some of the comments <laughs> on your page and right. people are like uh, what jazz did you use how, how did you guys meet? i've told the story a million times and nobody <laughs> believes me i met lizzie on the intern show and when we met on the intern show i fell in love day one but as a uni like boy now La yeah. greatest. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a bit of gimmick. So I, I did like, like a role reversal thing. The truth is Lizzie was the one that actually asked me out. She chased me for one full year. Wait, if I call Lizzie I now. I didn't tell you. On my, okay, this is not a phone. But if I call her now, <laughs> yeah. she would say that. She's, she's had, had a bunch of interviews and she would say, look, I wanted this guy. And I went after him for one full year. And, and you were busy doing what in that one year? The truth is I really wanted her. But my last relationship... Ended because we're not friends. We just mm. jumped into a relationship. Ah, I like you, like you, you know, that kind of thing. So this time I was telling Lizzie all throughout the one year, I was like, we need to be friends first. If you want to have a long lasting relationship, you need to understand. It's like jumping to primary two without running through kindergarten. You have to. Unless so, you are very bright. 
<laughs> no, no, at least that was for you, right. And when it comes to relationship, honestly, I'm not very bright. I'm not very bright. Let me pause you there. <laughs> Let me read something to you. This is a quote. Right. It might sound familiar. I strongly feel it's an insult to women to say we are equal to men. Yeah. We are not equal to them. We are newer, revised, upgraded beings. Man wasn't good enough, so a woman was created. Don't mistake the position we took as helpers, oh, as though we are less. <laughs> we are just humble, period. Uh, Lizzie, said that? Lizzie John Black. I know. <laughs> I, know. I was there when she was doing it. I was downstairs. She wrote it upstairs, yeah. What was what that about? Um, honestly, I have no idea what she was thinking about. When the U.S., I think me, Larry, LD the Don, his wife, and Lizzie, we had a, a lot oh, of That's argument. a very charged, creative atmosphere right, right there. <laughs> so we had, a, we had uh, a lot of talk about stuff like this into the night, and then we went to sleep. And then we woke up in the morning, and she had put this on Instagram. And I was like, hey, what's wrong with you? But honestly, I sort of agree with her. Hmm. Women in relationship, a man going into a relationship thinking that you're smarter than the woman, I <laughs> just joke. Women are like 10 steps ahead every time. Is it all women? Well, most women I know, hmm. they're 10 steps ahead all the time because guys are a bit, not, we have a few things we want. Really? Sex, this one, and we just, <laughs> you know, we're just a bit. All I had was sex. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we're a bit naive about <laughs> what we really aspect. want, you know. Hmm. But women are calculated. They, they also know the power that, that they have. So... Honestly, if you're going into a relationship and you're not, you don't respect the woman's mm. intelligence or what she can do, I don't know. What would be your advice to yourself how many years ago? Six, seven years ago? Oh, six, seven. I'm like, look, you need to understand that this thing takes a lot of patience. Mm. You have to... The truth is, I'm doing very well now in my marriage, so I, I believe that the advice would just be just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll dovetail into this issue. Um, I mean, the hashtag time is up. You're in the creative industry, yes, sir. filmmaking, women. Um, we'll take a look at some of the issues in Hollywood, especially as it pertains to women uh, and the world in general. So we'll be back after the break uh, on Robin Minds. Stick around. <laughs> Just for what you